Hey guys, it's Mark from North 7 Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. It's been uh, a little bit since unboxing, so welcome to the 2021 Black Friday Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Uh, it's now March 20th or so, March 19th actually. Tomorrow's the Peterborough Tackle Show. Can't wait to spend the rest of my money there. Um, worst uh, Tackle Warehouse Black Friday sale ever. Uh, a lot of the brands weren't there, and uh, and I didn't get my order till the end of March. Uh, you know, let's be fair to Tackle Warehouse here. Yes, it was the worst one ever, but with COVID, you know, supply shipments are just non-existent. So if you are an international uh, customer like myself going to Canada, um, the shipment cannot uh, cannot be shipped if there's a backordered item because they want to make 20 shipments to a different country. I understand that 100%. Um, I ordered a reel, we'll get into that in a bit, and the reel was just backwards. So I finally got my reel, so 20% off that, so can't complain. Uh, yes, I'm Canadian, I always get this question. It's not cheap to ship here, but if you look at the price of American, add 28 cents on the dollar, 30%, uh, you will see it's way cheaper than buying um, nationally. And that's why I always support Taco Warehouse, and again, every Black Friday, video that I do for unboxings, I always say the same thing. The power of knowing that this sale exists every year it, it is almost infinite because how many times do you go to a store and you're like, well, I wish I had an extra $800 to burn because this is, I'll never see this at this price again. You know that everything at the store is going to be 20% off and select brands are going to be 30% off. A lot of the brands this time around were not 30% off. That, are usually there unfortunately that sucks but you know I still got 20% off a lot of the clearance items so without further ado here's the 2021 Tackle Warehouse Black Friday unboxing in March 2022 unfortunately but let's begin All right, so I've got a lot of stuff here. So let's uh, just get into it as quickly as possible. I see my hoodie here. So super excited about this Tackle Warehouse hoodie. It's the vintage one. I got 20% off. Tackle Warehouse, their house brand is pretty solid. So that's just kind of the back there. I like zip up hoodies and this is gonna fit the bill. All the price on the screen for all the products. All right, so this brand was 30% off. So I decided to order this. I had the Taco Warehouse weigh-in bag. I abused it and it fell apart. My fault, sure. Crappy quality, possibly. Uh, so usually the Taco Warehouse brand stuff holds together pretty well. Weigh-in bags are kind of funny. I did a lot of research and I could not find like a weigh-in bag that everyone universally agreed was top-notch. So I went with the AccuCall weigh-in bag because I got that extra 10%, 30% off on Black Friday. A couple hats here. We've got the Shimano um, Canadian one. That was only, that was super cheap. That was on clearance and I got the extra 20% off. And I usually get myself like a custom uh, Taco Warehouse hat here. Here's a Mike Iconelli one. All right, without further ado, the whole reason this is four months behind because I just refused to not have this ship with us. And this is the Shimano Vanford. I always wanted the Stratix DI4 Plus and now they've discontinued. Everyone's saying this is better anyways. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta have a nice Shimano spinning reel. So we got a 3000 side size. It's got the odd uh, handle here, as you can see here. I would have preferred the 2500 size, but when I made this order, the 3000 size was still in stock. So that's why I went with 3000 because I knew if it was a backordered item, I probably wouldn't receive it. But apparently it was just delayed inventory. Uh, and these were also out of stock, but I finally got it. So here's the, hopefully this is the best spinning reel I'll ever own. And yes, Shimano is 20% off. A lot of people are like, eh, it's not 20% off. I guarantee you it's 20% off because I got 20% off that. As you can see, the price is on the screen. All right, I'm having a horrible time grabbing all these friggin' 
lure is here. These are all Strike King Ochos. I'm going to just show you quickly the colors that I believe truly work the best. I don't know, this is probably like 15 bags. Let's see, take that color. All right, the, I've had so much success on the Tequila Sunrise Orange Flake model this year, and Big Tex is always just a staple. If you're gonna throw a freaking stick bait in Canada, in Ontario, make sure it's a Big Tex color. Whatever else you throw, I don't care. Make sure it's that one. All right, from TH Marine, I always pick up something. I think this was on clearance and 20% off that on top of it. Uh, just a little cool, uh, TH Marine um, for the Altrex trolling motor foot pedal. Just something to make it a little bit different. Add a little um, flare to your to your boat, I guess. So I went with this. I always pick up something like that. All right, some dual jigs here. So there are two packs here. Uh, Tactical Bassing always talks really highly of the dual finesse uh, jigs here. So we have, what do we have here? We have three eighths, five eighths, and half ounce. So three eight ounce uh, finesse, half ounce heavy cover finesse football, and heavy cover football five eighths, not finesse. Dual was almost sold out. I remember, I just, I don't even know what colors these are. I just remember that the sale, everything was pretty much out of order when I made that. Owner, so I love owner uh, wacky worm hooks. So we've got about ten packs here, all either two aught or one aught. Very inexpensive for owner hooks. All right, so this is the first one for me. I've not tried these. These are owner mosquito hooks. So we've got size one and one aught here. These are the uh, economy packs. Very, uh, very reasonably priced for how expensive owner is as far as hooks go. I'm actually considering jumping these mosquito hooks to two aught and then using them for wacky worm hooks. So I think that will be next year, uh, next year's order. All right, Berkeley Power Bait. So these are pretty much sold out. Like this is probably one of the last packs you can get your hands on for Black Friday. This is the uh, Power Bait Max Scent, the Berkeley General, six inch, and this is a uh, cinnamon purple. Let me tell you, these are not cheap. So for a pack of five, I better be getting like two or three four pound bass on these. I'm not that many, but I mean, holy, they're not cheap. Okay, speaking of not cheap. This is the most expensive lure, um, saw plastic lure I've ever bought by far. And it is probably the only package in Ontario, uh, very well could be, especially in the north of Seven region, I guarantee you no one else is throwing these. These were 20% off, these are not cheap. So if you do know Roman Made, you know that they make $400, $800 uh, swim baits. So they're just insanely expensive. This is called the Prolog uh, stick bait here. I'm not sure how much these are. The price will be in the description. I think they're like 12 bucks American or like $16 Canadian. This is, I'll probably shoot an entire video to see how many fish I can catch on this. I can't imagine it's worth the money, but you only live once. All right, so speaking of tactical bassin, I've always wanted to try these, and when it comes to Black Friday, you're just you're spam buying. To be honest with you, if you're like me, you're just clicking and hoping the stuff that you order um, doesn't add up to be too expensive. So this is the Bullywa 2 Frog in two sizes. And this is actually the Little Allen color, which is made by Matt, uh, Matt Allen and Tim Little. So there you go. Don't know if it'll work. It's not a traditional color by any mean, but... If they're gonna design it, let's give it a shot. All right, Big Bites Baits BFE, the best flipper ever, I think they're called. Uh, so we have two economy packs in Alabama color. Was it Alabama Craw color? So there we go. I didn't really know what to expect. I'd never seen them in stores. I've just heard they've got a crazy amount of hype on them. 
pretty inexpensive, so we picked up two of these. And one in, I like this color, this is a sunfish laminate color. Alright, so some of the best things about the Taco Warehouse 20% off everything is that that includes the clearance. So we have a bunch of half ounce and 3 8 ounce um, tour grade football jigs from Strike King. All the same color. I'm not quite sure what color that is. Some watermelon green pumpkin-ish color. So there we go. Pretty inexpensive. Can't be beat. Uh, same thing on the clearance thing. Uh, Fire Tiger Dream Shots. These are on clearance, and I wouldn't throw this color normally, but it being as cheap as it was, it's worth a shot. All right, these were also on clearance. There's a lot of Gary Yamamoto stuff on clearance. So we have ourselves a few packs of the Gary Yamamoto heart-shaped uh, tail swim baits here. These work, I think my longest, if not my biggest smallmouth was caught on one of these. Probably about 23 inches. I don't fish like the St. Lawrence or Lake Ontario, so that is a monster inland lake uh, smallmouth. Alright, some Kytec um, swing impact uh, fat here. We've got 3 8 ounce. 2.8 and 3.3. I want to get some smaller Kytex. I always seem to buy bigger swim baits. I wanted to get finesse on this. All these are the Tackle Warehouse Green Pumpkin. Now they're all the same color just because that's what happened to be on clearance with the extra 20%. So let's make our let's make that savings last. If you're gonna spend $65 US or something for shipping, let's make sure you're getting your money out, right? Alright, this I went a little overboard. <laughs> I can get these out of the box. Come on, baby. All right. I'm not getting this out of the box in one go. These are Buckeye, the uh, finesse. What are these mop heads? What are these flat tops? Buckeye flat top, flat top jig heads here. Uh, super inexpensive here on the clearance with the 20% off. There's probably I don't know seven or eight. I can't even carry them all, they're just messed up, but here's like another five or six and there's a few more in there. So, hey, anytime you've got jigs they are just crazy inexpensive, get your hands on them. Alrighty, Ochos. So I've got my mainstay Ochos there. These were just the double header in four inch because I thought maybe I would try more four inch lures for stick baiting wacky worm. These are the double headers. These are on clearance with extra 20% off. So we have a few packs of these. Just price dictating that I buy a bunch of them. You know how it is. Grass jig. So I do not have a good grass jig go to at all. Um, JT Kenny, maybe he's a pretty good fisherman, but he might be a better salesman. If you've ever seen, type in like JT Kenny Grass Wizard Jig. He's talking like Bass University and he's like 20 years in the industry and this is what I have to present. And some people are like, and he's like, well clap up guys because this is all I have to my name. This is all I've done for the industry. And basically this is just supposed to go through grass better than anything else. Nichols was 30% off so you got the extra 10% so that's pretty solid. So here we go, JT. Don't uh, don't do me wrong. All right. So missile is a pretty good mainstay at the extra thirty percent off. So we got a few bags here. The colors I'm most excited to show you. Three colors really is all I got that I think will work well. Uh, super bug. Look, if I could have one creature bait, it's going to be a missile D bomb in super bug color. So we're trying the 48 in that color. Gobi bite. And milk money. I'll say one thing about John Cruz. He certainly does come out with a lot of, uh, a lot of colors. He's not a... a a simple man as far as pick one or two colors and call it a day. 
Uh, a fair bit of other Gary Yamamoto stuff was on sale. Three inch fat Sanko. There we go. Gary Yamamoto is a fortune, so I don't throw a lot of it. And what are these? These are some four inch shad shaped worms. Right there. Alright, what else do we have here? Ah, yes. Dual Realis. So these are the, what are these? These are the Wriggle Crawler. I made a video about these because I like them so much. They work very well. They're not cheap. The price is on the screen. But you do get a pack of 20. So they're fair in that way. Ooh, here we go. So every Tackle Warehouse, if you follow my other Tackle Warehouse Black Friday unboxings, I always buy one of these. And this is a Huddleston. Some kind of shad color here. This is the 68 Special, so it's got the 8 inch tail and the 6 inch body with not going weedless here, open hook. Uh, let's go, let's get me a big old uh, 8 pound bass, would be great. Alright, mustad hook. So if I'm not throwing uh, on the owner, I'm throwing on the Wacky Worm mustad ultra point here weedless uh one odd or two odd three odds too big uh you could even get away with a seven inch senko on a two odd uh these are weedless i clip the weed guards off i just think the hookup ratio is the best in the game people talk about straight shank i just i have more confidence in that hook than anything else Do this in two handfuls. So these are just some lures that were on clearance with the extra 20% off. Some square bells here from KVD Strike Kill. Z-Man. We have a few bags of Z-Man. I do like the TRD bugs as a trailer for finesse jigs, so we picked up a couple bags of those. And I've got the hula sticks, which I enjoy on a Ned Rig. I've got it in two color. I like Blue Craw a lot. And the deal, I don't think I've tried it before, but it looks pretty similar. So there we go. All right, poor boys. So I've never even heard of poor boys, uh, but again, they were on clearance with 20% off, so we picked them up. We got a couple packs in green pumpkin, mango, and goby. There we go. About two packs each there. Don't know if they'll work. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But you know, when you're getting stuff off for half off, let's say, you can take the gamble. Here we go, some KVD Dream Shot. These are Pro Blue Neon. Again, like the Fire Tiger, I wouldn't buy these normally, but for clearance and 20% off, we'll take a gamble. All right, I'm a bit behind on these, but I didn't want to go to my tackle store and pay like $11 a pack. So we have eight packs of the Berkeley Flatworm for drop shotting. We got them in Black Shiner and Natural Shad. There we go. Uh, I'm lucky where I live, you know, lakes aren't overly pressured, so I can get away with being behind the times on certain things. Alrighty, so these are new from Missile D-Bomb. As I said before, if I could have one creature bait, it's going to be a Missile D-Bomb. Super bug color. And these are actually the mid ah, Missile D-Bomb Chunk Trailer. So there we go. I don't know if these will work or not. At 30% off. We will, hopefully they'll pair well with a finesse jig, maybe a normal jig, we'll see. Alrighty, getting down to the nitty gritty. Alright, some Mustad Ultra Point drop shot hooks here. We've got two and size four. I just want some smaller hooks here for some smaller profile. Maybe go down to six, inch, uh, six pound fluorocarbon there. Just to not have your tackle, terminal tackle overpower your lure. So some smaller drop shot hooks to try this year. 
All right, last in the box here, we've got Gambler. Uh, Gambler, if I'm gonna throw, I didn't even get Green Pumpkin here. I can't believe I didn't buy Green Pumpkin. That was a, not thinking there. If I'm gonna throw a six inch stick bait, it's probably gonna be Gambler. And they came out with a lot of new colors here. Probably have about eight bags here. They're normally 30% off. This time they're only 20% off. The one color I am most excited to try is, what is this, Cracked Copper? Yes, this is, looks gorgeous to me. Can't wait. I have big expectations. There's uh, some classic here, like Copperfield. Copperfield's a go-to for me. I think Gambler may be, I actually like this color too. This is the Vid 19. I think Gambler might work so well because it's largely known as like a Florida uh, lure company. And I don't think, now that I can think about it, I don't think there's a lot of stores. You can just walk in and get a, get a Gambler uh, Fat Ace there. So there we go guys, that's my Taco Warehouse unboxing, try to do it as quickly as possible. Uh, lots of good stuff on there. Unfortunately I had to wait four months, which absolutely sucks. But other than that, pretty excited to try what I do have. As you can see behind me, my taco wall is uh, pretty much bone dry. Uh, just kidding, I might uh, might just keep most of the stuff in a, in a tote or something, because lure prices are, are stupidly insane right now. Uh, I don't know, hopefully they don't get any more expensive. But thank you guys for watching, coming up soon. We have the even much even uh, even larger tackle unboxing from Tackle Warehouse. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, Tackle Warehouse Black Friday next year, 2022. I uh, sorry, later this year, I guess. You know it's going to be 20% off and 30% off certain brands. So don't forget to start saving up for it now.